Hello my friends and welcome back to another episode of Subnautica Below Zero. It's only been nine, 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 nine days since the last episode, so I'm sure you haven't been waiting too long. But without any further ado, why don't we just jump right in? Now unfortunately, um, after recording this episode for over two hours, I realized that all two hours of my audio recording have been corrupted, so you guys will just have to deal with the post-gameplay commentary, I suppose. Alright, so it all began in the Phyrobotics cave, which I mean, I was genuinely curious about what the heck happened to this place. I got the Snow Fox hover pad, which was undeniably nice, and also I just have to say that this place looks absolutely amazing. I love the aesthetic of the destroyed base in the cold icy cave, it looks really sick. Then we get a quick chat with Alan. Do all humans like work? The lucky ones do. Are you lucky? I used to think I was. That's kind of depressing, I guess. Hey, nice, look at that, a snow fox upgrade. That's always handy. We found Sam's room, but something was not right, apparently. This must have been Sam's room. But something's not right. Hi, you. How's everything at Pendling Central? <laughs> oh, fine. But I haven't heard anything since giving the footage to Zeta. It's been, what? A week? Did she promise you a report? No, but I expected some kind of reaction. Maybe I should take it up with Emmanuel. It is Kara, after all, and it could cause a lot of suffering if it got out. Why would it get out? We have professional containment and know how to neutralize it in an emergency. Sam, I love you, but you don't know what you're talking about. You love me? Wait, why do you know so much about this? It's my area of research. Why are you being evasive? <sighs> oh, I'm gonna tell you something, and then you have to drop this crusade you're on before you damage your career. We're researching the bacteria. What kind of research are you doing? I don't want you worrying about this. <laughs> nice, the cold but seat. We are aware of the possible downsides, but they're far outweighed by the potential. That's as much as I can tell you. <sighs> Sam, I, I need to think. I have to go. Alright, so from that call, we basically learned a bunch of interesting stuff about the fact that they have been researching Kara and apparently doing things to it, which might be somewhat dangerous. Also, those bedsheets are amazing. I also uncovered the alien teleporter, but for some reason, Alan would just not want to help me out on activating it, so... Oh well. Okay, what's this one about? Hey guys, I'm so glad you're here. Like I'd miss Fred being exposed as the alien intruder. Cavern with a frozen leviathan, I invest you investigated. What? Car mutation experiments. So basically, it, it's becoming pretty clear that they are doing experiments on Kara and maybe it's possible mutations, which is a big problem because if it does indeed mutate, well, Enzyme 42 can only cover for the current mutation. Also, look how they've butchered my boy. What happened to that freaking poster? Yeah, the Kara postures on the frozen leviathan. If it mutates... Yeah, you're feeling unsafe. Yeah, of course you would be. So to wrap up Fire Robotics, they are doing research on Kara, and more specifically, on the possibility of it mutating, which would, of course, be super dangerous. Alright then. Now the next order of business would be to travel back to my base, and probably get a depth upgrade module for the sea truck, because I just needed to be able to go deeper. Oh yeah, there's also the bridge. Kinda forgot about this thing. I still need to build this at some point. Alright, time for a moon pool. And here we go. Come on, baby. There it is. Well, alrighty. Look at that. Feels like home. Uh, I probably need some power, though. Beep. Bop. Boop. There we go. Look at that. All nice and powered up. Now for the upgrade console. One, two, and three. Boom. There we go. Alright, well, that's one. And that's the MK2. Hmm. Man, that thing is expensive. I wish I could also get that high capacity tank. That'd be freaking nice. Well, one upgrade out of the way. I guess the next order of business is to follow that green shiny. So, uh, why didn't you enjoy the sped up footage of me traveling to it with absolutely no problems whatsoever? Man, I, I hate to cut that a little short, but look at this place. Jesus, it looks freaking awesome. Also quite terrifying. And um, I'm so glad there are absolutely no monsters around me to eat me like um, like that, <laughs> that thing right there. Oh boy. Um, yeah, I was 
I, w I was panicking a little bit. I mean, of course, you can't hear the actual audio, because nobody can, but... Uh, uh, the depth is also not on my side here. I'm, like, right on the edge of crash depth. It's just a sea glide away. Let's go. This is a little deeper than I hoped it would be. But uh, I'm sure I can still get it. This site is one of some significance. Its data will assist us on our quest. Okay. How will it assist us? Not a... At least the perimeter defense system is doing a pretty good job of um, staving off that thing. And the repair tool is kind of keeping me alive, so it's not actually as dangerous as I thought it would be. If there were more of them here, they would be much worse. And boom, there we go, the ground sampler. Would you look at that? This is like a right on the edge. Ah, there we go. Nice, awesome. Let's get the heck out of here. Hey, look at that, that's nice actually. Let me get that ultra capacity tank. Alright, so my next goal was obviously the other green shiny, but it wasn't before long that I realized that I would probably really not be able to make this one without the MK2 depth upgrade. I mean, the 300 meter limit is just, it's just a little too much. I was hoping some oxygen plants would be down there, but there, there really weren't any, so, so I just kind of had to suck it up and uh, go get the other upgrade. Right, well, we all love grinding, but let me just kind of Let's keep you on past this one because it's really not that fun. Man, I just love grinding. Cool plant, cool area, but dang, this sucks. Okay, a quick phone call. What's up? Have been useful, but ultimately I have no definitive evidence as to the fate of my people. The network oh, that's I probably not good, is it? No I cannot feel it? There could be a million reasons for that. Like, what if the network had a system update? They're on version 2001.4 and you're, <laughs> you're just running old software. That would make me incompatible. How would I even begin to plan my upgrade? Okay, that's not what I meant. Bad example. You still know how to get home? Man, I'm so curious so about that. how this will end. Go there, see for yourself what happened. Alright, and there it freaking goes. Wow, that took forever. Okay, back to the green shiny. Well, why don't you enjoy this other trip to that green shiny? Sped up to just a couple of seconds. Um. Hello? No, no, we're not doing that? Okay, well, I uh, guess let's just skip ahead then. Hey, would you look at that? That should be it, right? I'll finally get the freaking high capacity tank. Hopefully that way I won't have to make any more depth modules for the freaking sea truck. Okay, here we go. Look at that 650 meter depth upgrade. It's so freaking nice to just be able to point the sea truck down and just go without worrying about being crushed every second. Ah, oh, look at this freaking area. Definitely one of my favorites in the game. I just love the aesthetic of this one. Reminds me a little bit of the Jelly Shroom Caves, just a bit nicer, I guess. Um, we're kind of getting relatively close to the depth limit here. I really hope that thing isn't much deeper. Ah, uh, here we go. Okay, there it is. Wow, look at this place. So freaking pretty. I love this area. And there is the skeleton. Or architect component, sorry. It's just, it's a skeleton, let's be real. Architect skeleton structure. Then skeleton structure made from unknown alien components. It would score 10 on the moths test for material hardness. Highly resistant to shattering. Incredibly strong impact strength. Was that not like the standard? It is not often that I gaze upon the form of a foreign architect. Is this place another sort of sanctuary? They even call themselves architects? Huh. Beautiful. As the bacteria spread, the continuation of life became uncertain. This is a place to reflect. I think I understand. Reflect on what though? Doesn't the bacterium kill everybody in, like, two weeks? It's not like you would have a whole lot of time to reflect, I guess. Okay, well, that's nice. Anyway, um, I guess now we better go get the other parts. Alright, so I'm pretty sure I know where I need to go for the next one. Um, I think if we go to the deep purple vents, from there we can access the crystal caves. And from there, we should be able to find the other alien cache. A at least I think so. I also ran back into our old friend near one of the uh, big event gardens, but um, I decided not to get closer for obvious reasons. 
After about 20 minutes of being completely lost, I finally found the entrance to the deep purple vents. It's actually right next to the engine broken off from Mercury 2. And here we go, down into the depths. Now I know the edgy boys happen to live around here, so I'll have to be super careful and, and keep my eyes peeled for any um, sneaky leviathans that want to sneak up on me. Yeah, I also ran into this super aggressive rock puncher for some reason. Like seriously mate, I'm just I'm just trying to scan stuff. I'm not trying to like take your rock grubs away from you. Oh, and I'm not sure if you remember that I said I would keep my eyes peeled, but I immediately ran into the leviathan. <laughs> Oh yeah, I've noticed, trust me. So it tried to eat me, I um, used my electricity buzz buzz to shoot it away. But uh, to say that my butt cheeks were pretty clenched at this point, I, I think it's a, it's a major understatement. Also having to get out to repair the sea trick is just unnerving. Right, so I scanned a lot in this area and I traveled around a lot as well, but I was honestly just so freaking lost, it took me forever to actually find a place where I need to go. After 47 years of thinking I'm not going to be able to find anything here, finally found a spot, okay. I mean, it's it's, it's kind of daring to just go down with, uh, with a sea glide, but I guess it's a one-way trip, you know? If I don't make it, I don't make it. Well, this is really going to be cutting it close, isn't it? Ah, oh, there it is, okay, let's go. Ah, oh, man, I didn't remember how far away it was, so I'm really happy it's actually here. Whew. Okay, well, that was cutting it way closer than I would have liked, but there we go. And look at this place. Freaking love the design of this area. It looks so nice. I mean, honestly, the world building in this place is incredible. I said hi to our robot friends and finally found the other Arcadec component. Organs are a network of biocomposite and cybernetic material containing a variety of subsystems. Hard is particularly complex moves the blood and nutrients out of the body to nourish and maintain the animal aspects. Sensory input is processed and filtered into a dense network of incredible computational power, the architect brain. No respiration digestive system. Yeah, it, it opens, it exposes the body to the possibility of disease. Yeah, well, we definitely know that's true. You will be able to construct bionic organs with the scanned material, both primary and secondary. Our designs provide for redundancies. Given your current location, I think it's still <laughs> Wow, okay, Robin. Throwing some shade. And back to the sea trek we went, which somehow hadn't been eaten yet. Um, I also decided to just ignore the Shadow Leviathan. Like, if I don't encourage it, it's just not going to attack me. That was kind of my strategy. You have found two of the three components required for the construction of my corporeal form. This is as close as I have come to autonomy in a long time. You have such a way with words. Is that... <laughs> it was. You're learning. Hey, how about that? He is actually learning. <laughs> I was wondering if you can transfer bodies. Yes. Exactly. That's the thing we need to know. Couldn't you just make a new body? As you can see in the components you have scanned thus far, the forms we require combine biological and mechanical parts. The tissues you have scanned were developed from the DNA of 27 separate alien species. 27? That seems greedy. And wouldn't that yeah, mean that's that anything problematic. that infects a body you've manufactured can potentially learn how to infect all those other species? Yes. That is why a cure was Okay, but that doesn't actually answer Robin's question. Why not just use the incomplete enzyme, just like all the other creatures have, to temporarily keep yourselves alive and build new bodies whenever the old one would give out. I just don't see how they went extinct, to be honest. Right, so next up, um, another alien artifact actually got highlighted for me, so I decided to go explore it. Ran into another uh, Cryptosicus boy, but um, I just honestly decided to ignore it, like, don't give it any leeway on eating me, and somehow that worked, so. So anyway, I got there just fine. I still can't decide if Vent Gardens are awesome or freaking terrifying. It's like, like 50-50. Anyways, I scanned the other alien artifact and got absolutely nothing from it, which is uh, cool, I guess. I totally did not just get attacked by a, um, a snow stalker, don't even worry about it. For the interest of time, I'm just kind of skipping you ahead a little bit here. But here we go. Look at this freaking place. Alright, Alan has nothing to say about it, that's interesting. And I believe this is the last alien component that we need. Alright, let's give it a scan. Architect tissue, leather-like tissue sample of alien origin. It comes from different sources, extremely high compressive strength, high resistance to damage, and a lot of elasticity. Uh is a rough way to go. 
<laughs> yeah, no kidding. The cult preserved the body well, but this isn't a big sample. Will it be enough? It better be enough. Derived from the DNA of various species, capable of changing form as necessary. Ah, like stem cells. So, what prevents you from, I don't know, ending up with hooves where your eyelashes should go? <laughs> Good question. At least not since the fourth iteration. Oh, okay. Slightly concerning. Are you excited? Using the chemical compounds available in your body, I am able to approximate what you might call cautious optimism. But alright, you know what? I suppose with that, we have all the body parts, so all we need to do now is to finish constructing them, give Alan a body, and then uh, wrap this up. So why don't we jump right in to do that in the next episode? And that brings us to the end of this video, so I really hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, maybe consider leaving a like, commenting, or subscribing, all those would be very much appreciated, and I'll make sure to fix the audio for next time. If you have any other things you want me to check out in the game, make sure to leave that down in the comments as well, and with that, I'm gonna wish you all a beautiful rest of the day, and I'll see you in whatever next video I make. Bye bye.